A political squabble at the State House has serious implications for Maine nursing homes and the tens of thousands of people who work in them. Good evening, everybody. I'm Lee Nelson. And I'm Cindy Williams. The issue is about pay rates for nursing home staff, which those rates are controlled by the state government. But could a pay raise from last year run afoul of federal rules? News Center's Don Kerrigan has more. This fact matters. About two thirds of all nursing home patients in Maine are covered by Medicaid. That program determines how much the homes will be paid for what they do, including worker salaries. A year ago, nursing homes got a one-time raise to help cover minimum wage increases. Last month on its final day, the legislature passed a bill to provide about $1.4 million to continue the same pay rates. The vote was unanimous. Republicans used some of the budget money they controlled to cover the cost. But Governor Janet Mills wouldn't sign the bill. She put it on hold, and that has Republican lawmakers upset. If I were a nursing home um, CEO or an owner or a manager, I would be fretting right now trying to figure out, what am I going to do? I, I can't reduce the salaries of my employees. I'm going to lose them. But Health and Human Services Commissioner Gene Lambrew says they're worried that the state is too close to a line drawn by the federal government, which regulates Medicaid. She says that line is the upper payment limit for how much Medicaid is allowed to reimburse for nursing homes. To be clear, the issue at hand is whether or not the rate increases violate federal law. We're looking at that, looking at our options to see how within the federal constraints we can support our nursing homes. The nursing home industry says it needs to know if workers pay will have to be reduced. Rick Erb, president of the industry's main health care association, says it is a worry. We certainly cannot afford to lose any ground at this point as far as wages go because it's just too easy to find jobs somewhere else. And that's the concern. Maine has lost several nursing homes in the last few years because of financial problems. And Erb says there are some homes that are in tough shape now. The universal problem that they have is workforce. And yes, we do know that there are some that are struggling. Commissioner Lambrew would offer no guarantees, but said they're trying to find the answer. Democrats in the legislature and the Mills administration say the new state budget includes eight and a half million dollars of increased funding for nursing homes. And the governor's office says it expects much of that will be used for cost of living increases for nursing home workers, suggesting there should not be any immediate crisis. But the solution may take a while. In Augusta, Don Kerrigan, New Center, Maine.